Hello, welcome back to our TCAP commentary. Um, today we're doing Christopher Urban, the Water Down Predator, as highly requested by a viewer of mine that goes by the name of Omar Najar. Uh, I'm sorry if I mis mispronounced uh, your last name or, or whatever, but uh, thank you for recommending this predator multiple times, right, and being on my ass about it. <laughs> but um, yeah, we'll, we'll get right into this, you know, before we start, you know, I want to give a, a little bit of a shout out to a certain viewer of mine, and uh, you probably know who you are, but it's, um, they go by the name of Art by G.E. Nichols on Instagram. Um, they drew me a, a, a little, like, possum, right, that's inspired by, by, you know, of course, the possum that, that is, that belongs to this channel, right? And, uh, you know, they sent it to me through Instagram, right? I have an Instagram, go check that out. And I really liked it, so I asked if I could, you know, uh, use it for, for a banner for my YouTube. And, uh, they, they, they helped me out. They emailed me everything, right? They, they emailed me the complete... A banner and oh my god you need to look at it right go to the channel look at the banner it is fucking chef's kiss it is so perfect i love it so yeah it, thank you uh nicole's i don't know what to call you by so uh we'll call you that <laughs> so go follow them at art underscore by underscore g dot e dot nicole's on instagram for for more art right uh thank you so much and i really appreciate it so, uh, without further ado, right, we'll get right into this. <laughs> this was our third this investigation guy. in Riverside County, California. These men would once again be walking oh, into a Oh, shit, man. I love that guy. The guy that's like, oh, just fucking throw me in jail, execute me, man. This guy is perfect. <laughs> but before we start, I'm, again, you know, back. Classic. You know, I, this is a classic and banger line for me. You know, I'm... Again, out of time. I, I am. I have an hour to record. In about two hours, I'm. I'll be driving for my driver's license, and it's gonna be stressful. I'm not. Actually, no, no. I'm not stressed at all. Okay, I feel very confident. But you know, you can't stop. Uh, stop yourself from getting nervous. So yeah, you know, I have maybe an hour to to record, an hour to edit. <laughs> so, you know, this shit's about to move real quick, and hopefully, this gets uploaded today, which I'm uh recording. At Wednesday, Wednesday. It's today, Wednesday at two, right? Um, hopefully, uh, I pump this one out quick. And if not, maybe I'll, I'll post it uh, Friday. But um, yeah, let's keep going. These men would once again be walking into <laughs> a house too much that we had wired with oh, dozens of hidden cameras and mm -hmm. microphones. They wouldn't know it, obviously, when they walked in. Oh, but every move, every word every was word. being recorded. Okay. And it wasn't until after I told them who I was oh, that man. the regular cameras would come out. After our second investigation, mm -hmm. there was a lot of outrage, outrage. from viewers uh, as to why these guys weren't arrested. Perverted justice, the online watchdog. Oh, program. ooh, okay, okay. So, um, I assume this has to be like um, one of the first uh, um, episodes that they released raw, right? Because this is a Predator raw, of course. I'm sure this was uploaded to like some online internet uh, part, unless it was some segment on TV. Also, I don't know, but. Um, he's right about that. Uh, people and I, I, I mean, you saw my, my reactions to to seeing someone like John Connelly just walk away, you know, scot free. It, it fucking makes people pissed. And and uh, you know, Chris Hansen is is acknowledging that, right? That they let all these guys go free. And I assume he's about to say, right, that they, they they're now in um. You know, they're working with the police uh, with this investigation. He provides decoys for these investigations. Was approached Justice, by the Riverside County oh, oh. Sheriff's Department. And they essentially offered to do a parallel investigation. So mm -hmm. that when we finished talking to these guys who showed up, they would be arrested, interrogated, and prosecuted. In the back of my mind, my I wondered... Mind. If um, a little comment. I, I've seen a couple of, of this house's uh, predators... And I wanna I wanna put this out for for you know just for the facts, um this this Christopher Urban guy I actually never heard of him, and I've never seen his segment before. Um last night like around two in the morning right I don't go, I don't go to sleep uh that uh, early, I actually watched it I watched the segment right I was like you know what uh I don't know Jack Squad about this guy you know. So let, let, let me just watch it and see kind of w what I could say about the segment, right? And um, he is a character. He definitely is a character. He, he, he seems 
Like, uh, he would be really popular, but I don't know how far his popularity goes. You know, he's he's not a, uh, Anthony Palumbo. He's not a Lauren Armstrong. So, uh, you know. If all the attention we had received from the first two investigations would prevent men from showing up, and I worried that we'd come back with nothing but video of me, you know, pacing around a kitchen by myself. That wasn't the case. <laughs> That's a kind of funny thought to have. What's that? Okay, so his name is Christopher Urban. He's 26 years old, aka six pack, so call if, so cool if, I, I don't know. <laughs> I wash my hands, right? The Riverside what? investigation Why? was scheduled to last three days. By the second day, we had 35 men <sighs> visit our house. Oh man. That's a lot of people. <laughs> 35 men in, what, two days? That is uh, a plenty of uh, footage. Um, to think that, you know, I I know I'm a little bit slow, and I missed how many days he was uh, scheduled to be there. It's probably three or four days. I don't know. I I'm not going back either. I'm stubborn. <laughs> but to think just doing this, like, half a week, right, um, brings out, you know, 30-plus a uh, 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 potential, uh, uh, you know, predators is um is scary, right? That it, it is surprising how how big the, this this act is, you know. The, it, and it could happen to anyone. Like I don't know. It's it's surprising that Chris Hansen uh, keeps up with this all, like all this drama. I mean, look at his face right now. He's he seems pretty tired about uh, about this entire uh, you know debacles. <laughs> including this guy this guy who shows up to meet a girl half his age he comes literally in, he's, he's jittery he's jazzed up yes. and he goes to wash his hands well i'm watching from the next room mm -hmm. and you know i don't like every approach to be the same <laughs> that's so fucking corny from chris uh i was watching this last night of course um what he does to to like come out to, to this predator is is pretty fucking stupid i think it's corny as hell um, I don't think it landed as well as like, you know, would you like some milk with those cookies? You know, something, <laughs> a line that really resonates, uh, uh, resonates with a lot of people, right? Some fucking dumb joke. But this one was just kind of lame. But he did get a reaction from the guy, so I give it to him. But I, I don't think it was as good as like the zingers that he comes out with. <laughs> paper towels right over here. Paper towels right over here. So I grab a paper towel. He sees me and I hand it to him. And at first he just thinks, oh, gee, thanks. And then there's this... You know, he figured, Bro, you know, just look at his fucking face. You, you know that Chris has is like, I'm like the funniest guy out here. You know, like fucking this entire NBC newscast room are full of fucking idiots and people that are not funny at all. You know, <laughs> but Chris Hansen, you know, he hands a, a towel to a uh, predator and now he thinks he's the shit. I mean, just look at his face. <laughs> paper towel. He sees me and I hand it to him. And at first he just thinks, oh, gee, thanks. And then there's really this, thanks. you know, he figures out that. This is going to be a problem. Should you uh, have a seat right over on the uh, stool there, please? Mm -hmm. Oh, who are you? I'm Chris. Chris. Yeah. Chris. Me. And Chris. who did you come? <laughs> oh man. Um. <laughs> D E A. I don't know what that means, but I could probably figure out a um, you know, a, a, a what it means, you know, in the later uh later minutes of this episode, but um. Damn, I really have nothing to say, you know. I'm kind of stumped. I will be honest. I'm being a bit quiet, but we haven't gone to anything. What the fuck am I saying? Um. Um. Uh, what's her name? What's her name? I'm Jesus. sorry. My attention it caught, it caught me off guard. He's, you know, shaky. He looks like he's on some kind of a drug. Classic. That sounds very boomer talk, right? Oh, he's jittery, right? He could just... That could just be him, you know, but... Um... I agree with him. I know that sounds stupid as fuck that I'm like, oh, you know, he's a boomer. Why would he think he's on drugs? Um, he most likely is. Um, he, he'll later be shown to be carrying a, a meth pipe. And uh, I was watching and I'm like, huh. The, the way Chris Hansen says methamphetamines uh, kind of surprised me, you know. I was like, what the fuck? You know, Chris, you, you're, also, you're always so good at, at saying words, you know. I love the way you talk, you know. <laughs> but he, he definitely, I think, uh, messed up on the pronunciation of the word. And in fact, later, yeah, uh, police found methamphetamines. In his methamphetamines, account. like they're not vitamins, you fucking idiot. 
is is that just me? I think he sounds dumb as hell saying methamphetamines. <laughs> Come on. You came to see Kelly. Yeah. Kelly. And how old is Kelly? Kelly's way too young for me. Way too young. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Good answer. <laughs> then why did you come here, Chris? I came here to tell her that actually. To tell her that she tell was way too young. Actually, I did. Yeah. 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 I swear on my life. So you drove all the way from where? I drove from Rancho because I was tempted at first, and then I, uh, and then I was thinking on the way down here, I was like, you know what? I'm I not can't. gonna have sex with this girl unless it's legal. <laughs> Uh, it, it, if you know where that's from, fucking claps to you. It is it is a good fucking line. Um, I'll just tell you, it's from Jeff Sokol. If, if you haven't seen that, also you know watch that one. It's in, on the channel somewhere. It's very it's really old, but it's a good fucking uh a segment, right? Maybe my commentary is not that good. I'll remake him, re remaster his segment uh, eventually. But <laughs> I don't know. I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> I really do this. I don't feel right in my conscience. Like I'm a conscience type person. Yeah, I could tell. And you're a conscious type person by your very, very, by your very conscious. Oh, very yeah, cute. like yeah. And then very cute. I was gonna come here and tell her, you know, I don't want to do anything. I didn't bring any condoms. Or you did not. Yeah, man. I, I say it every episode, right? But these guys truly are running on on one hive mind. <laughs> this guy has has repeated almost. I mean, really, there. Uh, the truth is, is that there really isn't no other defense he could have, right? It's either you know I wasn't gonna do anything. I was gonna tell her that I was here to tell her I wasn't gonna do it, right? Uh, I was just curious, uh, chat is chat or whatever, you know, stupid shit. But, you know, uh, I don't know. It, there's, there's truly no other defense, but I, I like something like, you know, J, uh, JPW, right? Uh, Donald Morrison that just kind of come clean with it or they denied with the fucking spectacular st story, right? Uh, something good. And speaking of JPW, right, this is the house. I For a second, I didn't, you know, realize this is the house he was caught in. Um, I don't know exactly what house this is. Um, what location this is, but, um, you know, the, this house brought out a, a few memorable people, you know? No, no, you know, so. I mean, you can take them out of your pocket now. No. I know from the chat that the decoy had asked him to bring condoms, so I asked him, and he reaches into his ooh, pocket. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I brought this, but this is really watered down. You can even test it. <laughs> That's way watered down. Way water. There it is. <laughs> the line that makes this guy popular, I guess. Uh, he, I mean, of course, he's known as the watered down predator. Um, Omar, are you fucking happy? Okay, I'm finally doing this shit. Okay, I'm, I've been calm this entire fucking time. I just realized I got bullied into doing this shit. <laughs> this video is supposed to come out like two weeks. Uh, uh you know, maybe you know by the end of this month. <laughs> but this guy would not leave me alone. No, I'm kidding. It's, it's fine. I'm kidding, Omar. If you're watching, and hopefully you fucking are. I'm doing this for you, by the way. Um, it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm just joking. But, um, yeah, watered down. And if you don't, don't know what that means, you know, I'm sorry for this entire fucking little tantrum I just had. I'm sorry. Um, if you don't know what that means, basically, he filled, uh, this alcohol drink, alcoholic beverage, uh, with, with water <laughs> to, to, you know, make it more or whatever. It's very fucking poor, but, yeah, fair. Whatever, whatever it takes, you know. Way watered down. Way watered down. It's a 151, but I put, it was this much left. And I put, I put a bunch of water in it. He's kind of cute, you know. He, he's telling Chris, oh, there's, you know, it had this much left and I put this much in. Like, uh, we don't care. Um, you're going to jail. <laughs> and uh, to mention his his clothes, um, man, I do not miss the era of everything having a fucking marijuana plant on it, okay? Um, there, there was a time where, you know, this was kind of common. Uh, to kind of have that. It kind of bled into like the uh, to 2010s, right? Uh, some fucking style like this. I don't know. I always thought it was fucking lame. You know, it's like, yeah, maybe we find we find out that you smoke or whatever. But what does that bring? You know, it just kind of makes you look stupid. <laughs> you know, but uh, maybe it's a cool shirt. I know there's a uh, design on the back which looks kind of cool, but I don't know. It fits a little too well, right? He's he's a fucking meth addict. <laughs> he has a marijuana plant shirt. Like, uh, I don't know. He so. did. Yeah, dude. Yeah, and that was why. Why'd you do that? Why'd because do that? I didn't want to. I didn't. I I wanted to leave it here when I left to just say, "Here, you can have this." What? And that's that's you know. What? So you were gonna come over here and say, "Look." So let me get this straight. Um. So he would. So his story right now, as it stands, is that he would come over to to you know f from wherever the fuck he's from. You know, I think he said two, three hours or whatever. Um, probably not three. Maybe one or two hours. Uh, he drove. He drove all this way to tell the decoy, right, he wasn't going to do anything, and that here's this watered-down uh, alcohol. <laughs> like, 
uh, I don't know. As uh, he's very stressed the fuck out, I can see that. Uh, and he, like Chris Hansen, it kind of says, right? He he most likely is high in some sort. Um, he's just pulling up, pulling out all the stops, whatever the fuck he thinks would work. He's pulling out. Um, and of course, none of it works. Um, I don't think there's any predator on this show that had a convincing, <laughs> you know, um, excuse. You know, maybe JPW. <laughs> I'm kidding, but yeah. Okay, do me a favor. Do me a favor. Keep your, hand. Keep your hands out of your pockets, please. Out of your pockets, unless oh, I've been watching a lot of Skeeter Gene, and if you don't know who that is, search him up on YouTube. He's fucking great. He's he's like the next Chris Hansen. It, it is so fucking good. <laughs> Put condoms out of there. That's fine. Yeah, just no, get what you're what? getting and put them what? right on the counter. Yeah, there is one, but it's no good. It's I always good. carry it with me. It's always in my wallet, and I took it out of my right. wallet when I was in my car. That, that, what? I remember watching that, that part, and I was like, huh? The, the condom doesn't work? <laughs> Which, that is not good, you know. I do know that condoms expire. Uh, it's not good that, that you'd have an expired condom, or, or maybe he was saying that it's not good, like, oh, you know, it's not a good look. Or whatever, right? It's not a, uh, it's um, it's not a good thing, right? To have that, um. But still, you know, if that condom was expired, right? You know, then why the fuck have it? You know, throw those things out. And uh, yeah, no, I have nothing to. I honestly was gonna come here and tell her I don't want to do anything, right? And tell her, you know what? You're extremely young for this. Right. You know, <laughs> said, you were gonna come here and tell thirteen-year-old Kelly that. Uh, Ooh, you didn't want shit, man. I love it when they bring out Chris Hansen some papers, right? It's like he, you know, he snaps his fucking fingers and, you know, someone comes out with something, right? <laughs> you know, paper with his weenie picks on it, I, I believe is on it. Um, but I was going to say something pretty important. I forgot. <laughs> um, let me just sit here and fester and maybe I come back uh, with what the fuck I was thinking. Well, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. <laughs> so let's keep going. <laughs> Yeah. Do, do, do anything with her. I really here's did. some Bacardi rum. Bacardi and, uh, I was actually going to. Did honestly, you transmit this? Uh, oh, okay. I, it, you know, it came back to me. Um, these guys have a lot of time, it seems. Um, maybe it's just me. <laughs> but I would never fucking dedicate so much time of my day to, you know, um, out of courtesy, you know, uh, accommodate someone else. Um, if I don't show up, so so what you know what, what the fuck are you gonna do come find me like i want you to try like this guy he's like oh i wouldn't want to leave and this is you know he says this later but i wouldn't i didn't want to disappoint um and i've said that before right these, these people can disappoint when it comes to you know wanting to have sex or whatever but my point is is that he basically said oh he didn't just you know uh ghost her because he's too much of a nice guy to do that he, he'd feel bad <laughs> oh my oh my I, I sent... I... And these are kind of see-through, right? You're able to see through the other side. And, of course, uh, it looks like he just has his pants on right there. But, you know, you could definitely tell that probably in the lower pictures, his weenie is out. And, uh... <laughs> didn't know I sent yeah. that one. You what? didn't know. Well, actually, yeah, I did, but... Wow. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> oh, wait. It I wasn't is. thinking of... To a 13-year-old girl. I'm oh, he sorry. stomped. He's right. stomped. You're right. I know. I wasn't thinking. And then he says, and we hadn't heard Dude. this before. Oh. Look at me. I didn't even take a shower. If I was coming to do something like that, I would have I would have taken a shower. Oh, man. That is a good fucking line. Banger line. That is a good line. Um, You know, just throw everything I said out the window that this guy is not, you know, uh, original. <laughs> you, know, the, you know, he came out with one of those lines where you could just use... You know, like, like, Habubger, right? I'm past that stage, right? I ain't no woman in this world that can get me hard on, right? Man, this, that is a good fucking line. Hey, 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 whoa, 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 relax, relax, relax. I'm not here for anything. Look, look at my hair. I didn't shower. And then you'd be scot-free. Out of there. Boom. Shakalaka, right? Done. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> you know? I mean, that's that's the first thing you do. How old? Yeah, you know, yeah, I'm 26 guess. years old, sir. 26 years old. And so I really, you are I really feel bad. The age I know. The girl you I know. You were gonna I know. See. Like, I really feel I bad, dude. Like, I mean, I don't dude. even know. Oh man, it's this guy, dude. <laughs> um, huh? He reminds me of that one guy that that he he has a goatee and he's pretty pretty uh fat, <laughs> and he's like, oh, I'm not kissing your ass. It's because I know I'm wrong. Like he he goes on this entire like act and spiel. That right, he he he, basically is sorry, right? Of course, 
and wouldn't do it again, right? Be, please excuse him and all that. Uh, he's kind of giving me the same uh, vibe <laughs> with the entire uh, conversation that he's providing, right? Christopher, not Chris Hansen. Um, they also showed up to this house, I believe, which is something, right? It, it really seems like the people that I don't remember much is from this house, other than Dan Allen and, you know, JPW. But. I don't know how to tell you how I feel bad. Now, I was... Worried, like, Another now one. you like, go on and do this. I, man, I'm sorry. Right you know, I, because I was desperate sitting at home, I did. No. And it's Why? not right to do. You're right. They should have, like, control things on those chat rooms. Would you answer the, the door fuck? naked? Wait, I, I missed something. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. You know, I, because I was desperate sitting at home, I did. And it's not right to do. You're right. They should have, like, control things on those chat rooms. Hmm. He also has almost the same argument for that other guy I was just talking about, right? The goatee guy. He was like, I was just home bored. Uh, I believe he's known as the board predator, which is something. <laughs> um, he says, right, if you didn't hear him, that, you know, he just wanted to leave home, right? Le leave his house for, for the day. Um, that is a fair excuse, right? If you want to go hang out with people, right? Go with your friends, you know, maybe go to a bar, hang out, you know, maybe go to like a sports game or something. I don't know. But that's not a good excuse for this, you know? It's like, um... You know, this is an easy assist from Chris Hansen to say, oh, so you were bored at home, so what? You decided to come over and try to have sex with a 13-year-old girl? And then, they're, and then they're like, no. <laughs> Wait, that sounded like Lord Armstrong. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I love him. I love Lord Armstrong. I've been watching. I watched back my segment, right, my video on Lord Armstrong, and I'm like, yo, holy shit, I'm pretty smart, you know. I watched back the segment that I did, and I, did, I had some pretty good points that, uh, that confirmed that got confirmed with my latest video of my deep dive on him before i even checked out his tcap uh you know wiki at all like i was just pretty smart and i guess i guessed right on what lauren was like but anyway let's continue with this guy what the fuck would you answer the door naked make it oh God. finally when confronted with the uh oh, man that's the not good you know, he admitted that it didn't look good i really wasn't even gonna come down here yeah, but you and did. This guy, and, and this fucking I, I guy did. is not... What? Pick one, man. Pick one. He wasn't going to come down here, or he came here to say he wasn't going to do it. Which one is it, okay? <laughs> because I didn't want to hurt this, somebody's oh feelings. See, and then there's that. But I, I look at this table, right? And Chris Hansen has three fucking papers just strung out on the table, right? There's multiple stacks, right? You can see there's like two over here, two right there, right? This guy is reading the entire fucking receipt right here. <laughs> you know? and, and when I, I did because I didn't want to hurt somebody's feelings. Aww. I didn't want somebody to be absolutely hurt. Oh, okay? poor and sit there thing. And go, oh my gosh, you didn't show up. You know, and, and <laughs> I'm really like. <laughs> uh, man, that is original. You know, never mind. I'm wrong. This guy is fucking original. I love it. He's like, oh, I wouldn't want someone to see here and be like, oh my God, he didn't show up. You know, I'll fucking. <laughs> Oh, acting this entire scene out. This is great. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm conscious. I like like, it a lot. I, I'm so dirty. Like, I know. <laughs> man, that is good, man. Look at me, Chris. I'm fucking dirty, bro. Like, I would have never fucking done this. <laughs> I'm dirty. Oh, well, I tell you what's dirty is this conversation. You know what? Yeah, I know. I, I really should not have done this. I felt absolutely. Yes, don't take my blank out of your mouth till I'm yeah, done. I. I, I... <sighs> Ooh, okay, that one did it for me. I was like, you know, this one is a bit, you know, timid. It's a bit calmer, right? I'm hearing a bunch of, you know, nasty talk from Chris Hansen, right? That sounds very bad out of context, but uh, whatever. He's like, you know, you wouldn't want... I'm not even going to repeat it. That is bad. That is real fucking bad, right? <laughs> but we'll hear it again. I just won't say it. Yes, don't take my blank out of your mouth till I'm yeah, done. I, I, I know. Look, if somebody's Ooh. telling me in the interview that... You know they've got an addiction or a compulsion that led them to this situation you have to say look you're an adult having recognized that perhaps you should have done something about it before you ended up walking into this house yeah i was not fantasizing about I a 13 guess. year old for god's sake for god's sake you know, it's not right to do everything would you ever me. have two guys all over you oh uh, it's just god, like man. i said fantasy type what would you do with two oh, yeah it's fuck. just wanting to hear and, and now do and he Oh man, he's staring a bit too tight, uh, you know, intense into the camera. Anyway, um, he uses that as a defense, and I don't understand. Um, you know, they they always are like, oh, the, the, you know, it's just talk. You know how Jeff Stacy says it, but this guy, he just goes, it was just fantasy, right? It doesn't matter. <laughs> 
you know, you still transmitted, uh, you know, uh, illegal contents, right, to a minor, right? That is, that is a, a, an offense. Um, you came over to meet, right, which is uh, very, very uh, telling on what your intentions were, right? There's that. There's the chat logs, right? You could say it's all fantasy, but this has brought it from fantasy onto real life, you know? And and he, he didn't catch on to that, I don't think, at all. Uh, you know I know that it's illegal. Do you, do you... I figured it had the parent. No, I didn't know that it was illegal. Illegal to send this kind of material? I did not know that. What? I to really didn't. somebody who you believe is underage? Mm -hmm. What? I did not know that. That's against the law. Oh my god. Like, so here's what you need to know. What the Chris. fuck? You didn't know that it was illegal to fucking send a dick picture to a 13 year old girl? The thing is, is that I kind of believe him, you know. I believe that he truly did not believe in it. Um, doesn't mean that he was absolved of it, right? I'm just saying that I truly think that it was okay to do it, which makes it worse, right? There are some people that are like, oh, you know this is illegal, right? I could get in serious trouble, right? They at least know that it's bad, right? If you know it's bad, right? It's, it's like someone with an addiction, right? If you know it's bad and, you're, and you, you know, you don't acknowledge it, you at, least, you at least understand that you're doing harm to yourself, right? But there are people that are like, no, it's good for me, right? Or, I, I, you know, it's just a hypothetical. I don't believe people actually say that, but... Or maybe they do. I don't know. But this guy, he's like, um, what the fuck's my point? <laughs> he he didn't know that it was illegal, you know. And I believe he didn't know. And to repeat again, right, I'm not saying that he's innocent. I'm just saying that, um, you know, compared to the people that say, like, oh, this is illegal. Um, he isn't one of those. He's one of those guys that did it out of impulsion or, you know, he, he did it without knowing that it was illegal. But... Even if they, if they knew it was illegal, I still think they would have done it. I mean, he's here, so. And that Never is that that uh, that I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story Please, on no. people Please who go. Well, you're welcome to leave and take your stuff with Please. you. But if there's anything else you'd like to say, um, <laughs> please tell us. No. Take not, what? Oh, he took his fucking water down. Left the drink. house. I didn't know that he was on probation. Ooh. Obviously, that made his situation worse. Wow. When ultimately. He was arrested. Turn around and put your hands behind your back. Oh wow! Because I really wasn't. He was on probation, meaning that basically, he's gonna get a very, very fucking a harder sentence for this uh, this entire um, you know act he just you know brought himself into, right? Uh, being caught on probation, breaking the law is is like almost an automatic ticket to fucking jail, right? Um, we'll see if this guy did go to jail, you know, for how long. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's bad, sir? regardless. Sir, sir. Do you have anything illegal on you? No, no sir. Do you have any drugs or anything like that? When's the last time you used speed? I used it probably two months ago, sir. Two months Is it ago, two months ago usually means two days or two hours? I am on probation for it. What are you on? Oh, speed. Isn't that, like, speed? I know, of course, it's a drug. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, like, fucking, you know, trying to construct this puzzle without knowing what I'm making. Uh, that's a good fucking analogy, or, you know, fucking saying, I don't know. Um, it's like a, it's, it has to be a form of meth or heroin. <laughs> it's, it's not, fuck it, I'll search it up. I'm not about to sound like a dumbass in front of you guys. <laughs> Let me see, speed, drug. Am, amphetamine, amphetamine, amphetamine is a strong central nervous system stimulant and is used as a treatment to attend deficit hyperactivity disorder. Um, let's see, what is an, uh, let me see, what type of drug is speed? I know this is, this doesn't look good on my fucking search history, but, you know, I'm trying my best out here. Okay, it seems to be, like, crystals. Um, it seems like speed is a crystal, so it, it most likely is, um, you know, piped. <laughs> Sounds very wrong, but, you know, it's, it's, it has to be smoked, is what I'm trying to say. And, um, it's just probably gonna be real evident, evident. Um, the moment this video continues. On. Probation for? for? For possession in July, and that's the last time I used it. It's been a few months. For now possession of meth? Yes. Yeah, I did this use an hour ago. Yeah. Uh -oh. No, I'm not trying to get rid of it, sir. I, I really am not. Which look, look. Oh, look at that. I know it's only because I have to sign up for a class. I hadn't used it. And that is a meth pipe. Um, at first, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I thought it was a fucking lollipop. My fat ass thought it was a lollipop when they dropped it onto the paper. I was like... <laughs> So what, you know, we're fuck. We have the chocolate flavored fucking dum dum here. What, what's the, what, what's wrong with it, you know? And I look closer and they're like, oh wait, it's a fucking meth pipe. <laughs> in, since I gotten in trouble with it back in July, you'll receive a date to when you bail. They'll tell oh, you when to appear in court. What's your screen name? 
Daniel. <laughs> I love this fucking guy, you know. He is the most out of it predator I think we see we've seen on this show, right? People say that he's high as fuck or that he's just stupid, but I think he's high. I do think he's high. Look at him. Right? He has to be high on something. The little line on the bottom? The little line on the bottom? Have... The fucking the the un what the fuck I don't even know what it's called either. He took the damn name out of my mind. Shit. Um underscore. I, I would have broad content. Is it okay. underscore? It doesn't look good for you because you're lying the whole time. We already have what you said. No, so no, when you say I'm, wait wait, I'm, let me finish. When you say the whole time that you, all of this was all this was for was to have to come meet a girl to play video games? That's a lie, see? You're talking to this girl about doing all kinds of things. What okay. kind of things, I, huh? I'm doing it out of a fantasy, not out of, out of... How can it be a fantasy? See, what do you mean, how can it be a fantasy? That is just... It proves that, that you had some intentions behind it, right? You were proactively, uh, you know, participating in this fantasy with this kid. Like, how is that a defense? Maybe I'm stupid. Maybe I don't understand uh, why that could be used as, as a defense, right? It's a fantasy, but, you know, maybe my fantasy is to kill someone and I end up fucking... You know, coming over to kill someone and I get caught for it. That it does not matter. It's not a good defense, but he uses it. <laughs> when you send a picture of your penis to her, I I, I said, okay, are this ex fix and she don't know said, who this guy is. Okay, twelve years old. The girl's twelve that you're talking to. Once the men were arrested, they were taken to a makeshift booking area where they were interviewed mm -hmm. by detectives. We were able to videotape that mm -hmm. entire process. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, that's that. Um, yeah, that'll be it for for the watered down predator. Um, we're not gonna look at his uh his wiki. I do not have time for it, and I'm trying to make the editing process just uh easy for me today. Um, I, you know, th this video will probably not be filled with much editing, right? It'll probably be me just cleaning up the audio. Um, there won't be you know zoom ins, right? The the fucking possum position changes, right? All all that stuff that you guys like. I I'm sorry. But maybe eventually, right, we'll remake this Predator, but I doubt it. I think it's fine enough. Um, it'll prove as a, uh, a, a, you know, a bump in the road of, of what happened today, right? We had um, the driving test, you know. This is when, today, is when I hopefully get my driver's license. Um, I, I'm pretty confident, right? I just went out for a little spin in my neighborhood. Um, feel really confident. So, yeah. Um, wish me luck on the test, please. <laughs> uh, thank you again. For the banner, uh, Nichols uh, and Omar, thank you for bullying me into doing this guy. Um, so yeah, we'll catch you next time, and uh, hopefully on Friday we'll have a deep dive. But if not, we'll do something a bit more casual, right? Like I said in my community post, I don't know if I'll be educated and and enough to to review a guy, but hopefully I will. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you next time. Thank you for watching.